My name is Max. I'm from Kyiv and I'm a student of Coursera, an IBM data science course. Uh, I'm, I want to finish a capstone project and as a, as a requirement it is a create presentation about uh, my work, my model, what I did. Uh, I created presentation and I want to show it to you. This is my pre presentation about predicting wine quality by using Watson Machine Learning. Um, this is my data set I took from the Kaggle. It's a data set about wine quality. It is how it looks like. And what I'm going to predict is the uh, quality of wine. Quality of wine itself or uh, bad or good wine. So it's two, two different problems. It's uh, binary classification and classification itself. So first of uh, steps, it's a ETL step. So should I, I should explore a lot, transform the data in order to use it further in further uh, aggreg aggregation and work, prediction and using different algorithms. So I used Apache Spark, Pandas Data Frame, Matplotlib, Seaborn for visualization, and Python as a language. Here you can see several uh, graphics or several plots. This is a fixed ICDT is a mean value and standard standard deviation of this column from the data set. This is correlation of two variables. Next step is the ET of this like next slide of the ETL step is a different kinds of uh, plots. It's a seaborne heat map and this is a um, I don't know another kind of histogram or let me check. It's a um, scatter plot, okay. Uh, this is a uh, ne next steps uh, from data exploration. It's uh, like general information, mean max, standard deviation of every column. This is a type of columns. This is a uh, checking that is no some does any any column has null values or uh, NA values. So this is a, another part of the ETL step. This is what I'm going to predict. And this is my algorithms I tried to use. System ML framework, I tried to predict logistic by logistic regression and I got pretty nice score, 0.86. Then I used linear regression from PySpark framework and I, and I finished with not very good values. This is a, then I tried to gradient booster trees and I got also a very nice value of one score, 0.89. Then I tried to use Keras as a framework for deep learning, and uh, here I spend much a lot of the time. This is a link to the, my notebook. I downloaded it to my repository to my GitHub account. Uh, I tried I tried to tune it. I tried to use different uh, optimizers and RMS Prop, Adam. I tried to measure tried different measures. I tried to change amounts of layers, uh, input units. Mm, this is what I got. Also, I tried, to, I, I used Kfold cross-validation uh, because data is not enough. Um, also, I, I used to join a data set from red and, and white wine, wines. Anyway, data is not enough. And I think this is the main reason why I got such amount of score of metrics. Um, then, as a, as a requirement, there was to deploy uh, my, mo my model uh, to the IBM uh, cloud and use it and provide it to stakeholders by working as an application. Uh, I decided not to do it because I before I took this example and implemented it, this is all of my uh, uh, working Example, this is a screenshot, so I know how to do it, but I decided not to do it for this specific uh, task. So I deployed it and it, it has a REST API and you can uh, use it if you have a correct uh, token. You can request these values and to predict wine quality. This is how it looks like. This is a function. This is like data you take from the Kaggle. Then you scale it because I use standard scale it. You can't pass it directly to the model. 
uh, then you transform it and you see that values you should uh, pass to to this function and then you receive uh, prediction uh, this is the link to my github account uh, you can find all files there um, check it uh, i created readme file so try to use it try to to see check all all algorithms i use it and implement it myself this is uh, my uh, github all uh, steps etl gbt this is a pdf of presentation this is my um, example of lightweight ibm cloud garage method i i wrote it as a requirement of, of a part of this uh, capstone project uh, this is my uh, this is my uh, amount of files i used to create this is my deployed model. This is example I implemented. This is my working models. This is my data sets. Um, so everything works. Have fun. Thank you very much. Bye.